Fatmir Serometi makes the final adjustments to a piece of kit that could become a giant step forward for blind people. One that's already transformed his life as an athlete nearly 30 years after losing his sight. A smartphone on his chest uses artificial intelligence to track the movements of a runner in front of him, sending back audio signals to guide his direction and speed. It's given Fatmir yet another achievement after a career spanning three Paralympic Games with Sweden. It's a huge, huge freedom, huge feeling of freedom. It gives me audio cues via headphones that I have on me like this. Uh, so if he moves to the right, then I get a cue to follow to the right. And if he moves to the left, then I get an audio cue to move to the left. If I'm too far behind, then it tells me that I need to speed up. We have now tried this out uh, during a, uh, a full race uh, and it, it works. The technology is developed by Google's Project Guideline. One. This month in Stockholm, Fatmir used it to become the first blind athlete to finish a half marathon without any physical help or guidance. We did the Stockholm Half Marathon with 18,000 other runners. Getting to, to that finish line was magic. Being able to do that for the first time, uh, for, for being blind so long, uh, it was a magical feeling. Fatmir's guide dog, Comet, won't be completely retiring as his training partner, but the hope is that this technology can give blind people more freedom in sport and in everyday life. Now, Fatmir has used this equipment as an elite athlete and a Paralympian, but the idea is for anyone to be able to run with it. So let's see how it goes for someone with no experience at all. The answer is extremely badly at first, but then following the signals becomes intuitive, almost relaxing, although not very athletic looking. For Fatmir, the eye disease he contracted when he was 13 means he can only see shades of light and dark. Turning that into a strength on the Paralympic stage was just a start. What he's doing now could mean more to more people than any medal. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Stockholm. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.